Good morning. Raymond A. Howard's my name. And I'm rebuilding Detroit. And you can reach me at my blog post, RaymondAHoward.com. All small case letters. Or you can reach me at the Watchman Mentor dot me. Watchman, the Watchman Mentor dot me. I am a retired healthcare professional with the city of Detroit. I'm also a Marine, a Marine Corps veteran, and also a Vietnam veteran. I'm a patriot. I love America. And I love Detroit. That's why I'm working to do everything I can to add my two cents to the rebirth of Detroit. I'm also, and this is the most important thing to me, a conservative thinker and a disciple of Christ. And you can understand why I say that. If you read your Bible, you already should know. But those of you who don't know, you can find uh, the explanation of all that in John 8.31. Now, if you want to follow me, I'm trying to uh, make this tape short. And point out a few things. The title of the content of this blog is Mr. President, this blog's for you. It's for him, but it's also for you too. So do read it. As the, as we wait for the next shooter drop that's a loafer I uh, I'm encouraged to see where the posters already or now have George W. Bush approval rating at 53% as opposed to Mr. Obama's approval rating at 48%. Now that's a big deal. Now they try to play it down, the liberals that is, but I'm thankful for that and encouraged, and you should be too. I guess the United States, America is finally waking up. Now, here's nine axioms and a conversation about Daniel, Prophet Daniel in the Bible, around 6 B.C., and his character, and why I feel that perhaps you Bible readers are waking up. Daniel was the first president. Check it out. And he was preferred. Well, finally, I can say this emphatically. Looks like Obama was never preferred. So go ahead and read it. But let me start off with number one. Personal leadership grows out of trustworthiness. To lead a nation or Girl Scout troop, I added that, 
You must first learn to lead yourself, Mr. Obama. Those people that wish to lead must have not only competence, but they must be trustworthy. And have it all in balance, competence, and strong character. Now that was said by Stephen R. Covey in his book and teachings on leadership. And in the seven habits. And I'm repeating that now, but I'm going to let you read the next eight. So, I'm going to say this and I'll close out the video as I always do. You know, truth is the only thing I'm interested in. I don't care whether we agree or not. I just want to, I want clarity. So those of you who are so liberal minded, I've already told you what I think about liberals and liberality. It is a sin. Then I leave this for you to ponder. Hillary Clinton now wants to be your champion. Look out. This has been from a biblical perspective. 